are. Hi. Um, so I'm Tabitha Jay, um, and I'm I've ju newly joined a month ago. I'm returning to adult social care after three years running a joint work and health unit from DWP. Previously, I led on social care funding reform and SR 2015. Um, it's lovely to be back in adult social care where my heart lies. Um, but I, I have the great feeling of that I haven't been here for this journey that others have been on in the last three years, and in particular, the, the COVID journey that you've been on, and I've got a great deal to catch up on. So COVID-19 has highlighted the fragility of the adult social care sector, as as the nine statements have said, and as, as Jennifer has just said, and, and really amplified calls for reform, and with a real breadth of reform. I, um, you know, I think we agree with ADAS's nine statements on the need to set set a clear and positive ambition for the future. And at its simplest, I think government's ambition is that everyone should be able to get their care at a good standard in a place that reflects their choices and their needs, and by carers who are properly recognised and rewarded. Because, as the NHS shows, if you look after, because then you could that's the only way that you can expect them to and paid for in a way which seems fair clear and predictable which isn't something that has been so much highlighted by, COVID, by the covid experience but sort of lies at the heart of the very important of the sort of satisfaction with system when they enter it. To recognise, of course, that this re requires putting more money in, in overall into adult social care and achieving better value for money from the whole, system, helping people to stay home longer. Brutalism, um, because of the quite conscious of um, workforce. Hi, I'm, I'm right. for so it's obviously and sometimes devastating challenges for those that work in social care. Um, we want to pay tribute to the 257 care workers in England who died after, from the virus between and May. The glimmer of light is the mix shown shone such a light on the brilliant work in this sector, their values, dedication, empathy, sheer hard work, often in exhausting times. Um, so collectively now, we need to make sure that we maintain that wider admiration and recognition for those working in social care. Government wants to fix social care, knows it can't be done without the clear plan that Jennifer and James referred to, to make sure we've got the right number of people with the right skills to deliver the care. Um, we need to make sure that the hundreds of thousands of people now looking for work see social care as a sector they want to work in with opportunities for advancement and progression. And so our, this is going to be a big focus over the coming months, working out what all the different parts of the system, not just central government, need to do differently to achieve that. And then the other thing I wanted to pick up is about funding reform. So within this wider reform question, the question that's vexed governments and policymakers for so long, as Jennifer said, the, the dill not question, or what does a fair way of funding social care look like that's sustainable and fit for the future? There is the highly developed dill not proposal there, which is which is great. Um, the average person spends 40,000 on their care, but one in 10 people face costs of more than 100,000, which seems very unfair when that happens to them. Um, government has put the question of paying for social care at the heart of its manifesto, and this remains a key policy priority. Um, the countless reports and reviews of this over the past 10 and 20 years show this is remains complex to, to solve. Um, government wants to seek cross-party consensus to ensure that a system can stand the test of time. And then just to conclude, looking to the autumn SR, which the Treasury has now kicked off, decisions are going to be made and need to be made on how to progress these and other key areas. And I look forward to working with many of you over the coming months and years as we work towards 
so realizing the positive ambition on which there's actually such a strong consensus between the contributors so far. Thank you.